Hey folks, this is Deco here, and welcome to some bonus RimWorld. So my plan had been to kill some time until Alpha 18 is out was to play a zombie colony, because that looked like fun. However, after spending a bunch of hours with that mod, I just... I can't make anything fun come out of it. I find it very frustrating. So, I was going to toss it when someone suggested on Discord that there's a mod called Save Our Ship, in which you can take your colonist to a new planet. So that's what I'm going to do. It's required a bunch of debug trickery, but let me kind of show you what we've got going on here. So here's the ship I built. Look at all these neat ship parts. Yeah, it's kind of ugly, but here's what we got going on. So back here in engineering, we also have a whole bunch of sleep pods, so that's all well and good. Not really a usable area of the ship. We've got a very well-equipped workshop. We've got comms, a bunch of different prosthetics, you know, components, so on and so forth. We've got all our stuff moved into a med bay. I have a bit of a storage area. I got a bunch of survival meals. Um, I brought a couple good guns in. I brought a couple of our turrets, because that'll always be a good idea. Some silver, some steel, stuff like that. I have temporary bunkhouse for once we land, and I brought our TV and some stuff and a nice place to eat and a nice place for the dogs. So I grabbed the four dogs that are coming with us. We've got Need, um, Kenneth, Solitude, and Ida that are coming with us. And let's see what else do I have going on here. So in the sleep pods over here, we've got Erwin and Yuri, who are both worthless. We've got our other two long-term guests. And we are actually just set to go. While we were waiting, I had Cross make some thrombo fur dusters, so now everyone is all happy. So, let's go ahead and let's board up. Again, this may be giving you a sense of deja vu. Well, me too, because I've done this like five times. And Mickey. All right, let's let everyone get in there. And we have a bit of kibble. We have 6,000 kibble, so hopefully that will keep the dogs fed for quite a while. I hope. We've got a few lights on here and there. Um, the turrets are on. But that's about it. So Cross, why don't you come turn off this light? Or turn off the console, rather. Go ahead and grab a delicious meal. And, good luck boys, got the defenses on. You guys are now unrestricted to go everywhere. You are only restricted not go on the ship. And, well, I don't know. We'll see you soon. So let's hop in and hit the road. So when we launch, this creates a save file more or less, and then you can use that to make a new colony. So. So long, me bags. I like how it says nobody was left behind because we have those other guys in crypto sleep that they don't seem to count. Very nice. Okay, so let me restart here, and then we'll start a new colony. Okay, so let me show you how this works. So we go under New Colony, we want to do Scenario Editor, Edit Mode, and now we can add Land Ship. So we can get rid of all this other crap. And this lands our ship that's been saved. Hooray! You don't seem to get any other new people, so it doesn't make any difference. Uh, again, yep. Yeah. Here we go. Let's set everything up as usual. Um, sure, whatever. And let's pick a spot here. Generating world. Generating. Okay, so I have the zombie land mod activated. So here's kind of a bunch of settings. So they're only going to show up at night, that's fine. I've set them from only the map edges. They're only going to attack human-like creatures. Having them attack all creatures might be funny. We can change this later. When will they destroy only doors and only when they're agitated? They're stupid. I don't want them to recover health, that's dumb. So let's see, they'll eat people. They're suicide bombers that I don't like having a ton of them. Let's give ourselves two days until they show up. Let's cap it at 200 zombies. Yes, they can do that. I turned down their speed and stuff. Um, and some of the infection options, so... Anyway, we may or may not use these as is, so let's pick a spot. Uh, where do we want to go? Mountainous? No. Should we stick with temperate forest? Should we go nice and warm? Tropical forest? I don't know about that. Arid shrubland. There's a moderate density of animals. That sounds like fun. Is there one that's not mountainous along this river? Mountainous, mountainous. Maybe not. That's too bad. Okay. Oh, small hills. That's not enough hills. 
Let's see. I was gonna go with, like, large hills, but now I'm not finding any. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I know, this is fun. Watching Deco click on things. Okay, well, how about on the road? Large hills on the road. Perfect. Let's do that. And then once we head next, we just go ahead and land. Unfortunately, you don't get to pick your landing spot. I had to regenerate this a couple times the first time I played because it kept landing my ship. Oop, don't mind that. It kept landing my ship on top of, like, a steam vent. So here we are. And here's our ship. Isn't this amazing? It's so great. So here's our map. Okay, this looks very nice. So there's some other weird performance things here. So first of all, I need to do, again, some debug trickery here in order to make... Actually, be able to get our people out. Wait, hold on. That's not what I meant to do. What did I click? Spawn World Pond. That's not what I want. So we'll spawn... Let's see here. A tribes person. And now what we have to do is we have to recruit them. Where's recruit? Oh, okay. You did recruit. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's open all these up. Seacoast, let's leave the dogs in here for just a moment. Oh, actually, no, we can't. We've got to get everything open here. So what I'm going to have to do then is delete the ship. Because it was giving me all sorts of trouble. Okay, there's Need. There's Cross. There's Kenneth. Ida. Solitude. Oh, yeah, and I brought Lilith. Because, of course I did. Oh, yeah, and this turns survival meals into Twinkies. Which is awesome. They're delicious. And it's important to remember that unlike survival meals, Twinkie do have an expiration date, so... We'll unforbid some food. And Violet, if you wouldn't mind... No path. What? What do you mean, no path? Okay, this is new. Okay, let's try this again. Um... I had a lot of trouble with this. Do I need to claim this stuff? Like, there was so much trickery I had to engage in to get this to work. There we go. Okay. Now, she should open these. Okay, good. And weirdly, our colonists come out unrecruited. Which, again, super weird. Where is recruit? Recruit. Seacoast, welcome. And we're going to have to keep doing that in case you're wondering. Come on, Seacoast. At least he's going to open all the crypto sleep caskets. And I had a problem with people's, like, prosthetics not working anymore. Like, it was just a mess. This is new, though, them coming out hostile. That didn't happen last time. It's okay, buddy. It's just me. Hey, Vicky. Okay, yeah. Just open these, would ya? Like, all you guys are doing is punching each other. It's okay. Like, we can handle that. Okay, let's get the recruit button all set. Oh no, I wonder if I'm to tave the dogs again, too. Ugh. Yep, there's Stumpy, hello, and Priest. I do kind of like the idea that, like, they don't recognize, like, their friends as soon as they wake up. I find that, like, oddly satisfying. Come on, guys. Open caskets. Seacoast, come down here. Okay, let's get the recruit button ready again. Okay, there's Solitude. Okay, we're gonna have to tame him. As far as I can tell. Who is... Okay, there's Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Cross. Have I missed anyone? Okay, is there anything left? Yes, there's still one left here. Open this one. Okay, well, Vicky was gonna do it, whatever. Okay, I, is there a tame button? Tame animal. Welcome back, little guys. Okay, rescuing our friends. Okay. Keep taming. Okay. Nothing. 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 Okay. So, at my first opportunity, I'm going to take the ship apart. But at the moment, I'm not. So, 
that's okay. All right, so um, let's get a few things moved around here. So I have a fences mod installed too for reasons that will become apparent before too much longer. Okay, let's set this for prisoners. And Mickey, why don't you come? Oh no, that's not good. Okay. And the game is totally crashed. All right, back in a few. Okay, so four more restarts later, here we are. I think that the problem is with Lilith, unfortunately. So, as much as I enjoyed keeping her around, we're gonna eject her pod into space. And I can't seem to delete her. That's not good. Um. Oh, there we go, okay. So, she's gone, so. Oh well, what can you do? All right, so. Uh, this time when everyone spawned, they just spawned, like, um, neutral. So, whatever. That's fine. So, let's rescue all our dogs. They're fine. They were just anesthetized, remember. So, they'll be okay once they've had a chance to wake up. So, actually, I'm not having the weird problems that I did last time. Like, Cross could only walk at 5% speed. Like, it was a mess. So, this is good. I don't mind having our ship to begin with. So, let's go ahead and let's get our priorities reset. You know what? Because I like you guys, I'm going to skip ahead. Hold on. Okay, I don't remember if this is exactly how it was, but anyway, here we go. So, let's go ahead and let's get things set up. This is exciting. So, let's, um, this was the stockpile zone to begin with. So, let's just toss it in there. There we go. Does that make everything appear? Kind of not really. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on, hold on. Don't take this stuff away, guys. Come on. Let's get this set up right. Clear all. Manufactured. Medicine. Um, preferred should be sufficient. Okay, so we'll get things hauled around here a little bit. And they can just stay in the barracks for the first day or two here. So, fences. So the problems, one of the many problems that I had with the zombie mod is that there are a lot of them. Like, ridiculously so. And if you just put up walls, even with a whole bunch of embrasures, like, they're just... You just can't deal with them. So instead, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put up a bunch of fences first, and that helps. Unfortunately, I've landed on a biome that doesn't have a lot of, like, really handy materials. I guess... Everything's in the wrong order here now. Um, let's get a bunch of this wood chopped. We can make some wooden fences just to begin with, and that'll be okay. Right? Right. Yeah, let's do that. And let's actually put a stockpile zone outside, too. Um, we'll just put it back here by the engines. What could go wrong with that? And let's cover that up, because that's a good idea. There. Okay, dogs are up. Oh yeah, let's expand our home area. So home is going to be... this-ish, to begin with. Something like that. Okay, so once we get all this wood taken down, we'll go ahead and we'll get some fences going. So this is how these work. There's just a fence, and then, you know, gates. So the wooden ones suck, but they're gonna be okay to start out with. I just need to, like, slow down our approaches. And we'll put some gates in here. Um, I'll make the metal fences shortly. So let's go ahead and let's get this kind of taken care of. So we can just go ahead and leave this side of the ship at the moment, and that's fine. Again, what I'm really concerned about is just being able to, like, handle this from the beginning. Okay, and then let's add some gates. I don't know why there are two gates. I think that maybe they're just, like, not turned sideways. I don't know. Whatever. Gate and gate. Okay, and then let's expand our home zone to include all of this stuff. Very good. Very good. This way they'll repair it. And this is an okay place to start. All right, let's do it. So the dog can Twinkies for just a little bit. We'll get some hunting going soon. I actually need to make a cooking area. So we're going to need to kind of start out building things soon. I had a... Seriously. Dog. You've been here for like five minutes. Okay, who else is going to be hunting heavily? Probably Seacoast. Um, now let's just follow Seacoast around. He's kind of an idiot. I'll get that stuff fixed in a little bit here. What is this? Oh, a rhino. Oh. Okay. Well, I suppose it obviously is. It just surprised me for some reason. Okay, and everyone can just eat Twinkies for a couple days. Okay, very good. 
Looks like all you guys are sleeping. That's fine. There's some steel right here, so let's start getting this taken care of. And some components, too. We'll just do those. No, we don't need the components. What am I talking about? I brought a bunch. Um, let's see here. Let's get this popped up. Yeah, okay. Is this? Okay, yep, that's a gate. Okay. And even shooting through a fence, like, damages it. So, it's just, it's a hassle. We'll get it dealt with, though. Okay, I should be able to turn off debug now. Okay, let's see if this works. This is actually functioning properly, which is kind of weird. So apparently, like, every couple times I start it, it's going to work right. So this could be exciting. But that's not the point. The point is, hooray! Okay, we have more dogs already, because of course we do. Alright. We got about a day until the zombies show up, that's fine. Let's get some of this steel taken care of, and then I'll get an outer line of fencing set up. I've also learned important lessons like, make sure you leave yourself two tile-wide areas, or else you're in a lot of trouble. Because you get trapped. And that's not a good scene for basically anybody. And we'll get some turrets up and running. What's fun is, is we actually have some power right away, of course, because we have the reactor here. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's get the rest of this steel mined out quick. Um, maybe we'll enclose this area as our new kitchen. Or kitchen-like area. Okay, we've got some steel up. Let's get some better fences up and running. So let's start from two out from our ship. Let's just trace the whole thing out here. One, two, and here, and here, not there, and here. And I'll keep the wooden fences there just as like a secondary line of defense. Make sure there's two spots. Okay, and then let's go back and let's put some gates in. When I tried doing this with embrasures, um, I couldn't keep like good line of sight on, um... What am I trying to say? I can't talk all at the same time as doing stuff. Like, the zombies would come up and start beating on the door, and I, like, couldn't get at them. So, that was weird and frustrating. Okay, let's get some gates up. Gate goes here. And here. And here. I want several gates so that, like, my guys don't get trapped. Which is pretty obnoxious. Oh! Comms, we can turn that on. Not that it matters at the moment, but we can just get it flipped on. Okay, so now let's get some basic production going. So let's get a stone cutting table first over here. So we'll get production. We've got stone cutters table. Ah, just like the good old days. We actually don't really have any wood. Let's build things out of steel for right now. And if we're going to go ahead and kind of build in this area, let's just put this over here. That'll be fine. And let's get a dumping stockpile going here, I suppose, for no particular reason other than it's right there. And this one's going to contain only bricks, blocks, sorry, and stone chunks. Yep. And we're going to set that to preferred. Okay. And then what do we got going here for rocks? Ooh, we have a bunch of slate. I like slate. Let's get this slate all hauled over. Okay, getting our second fence set up. That's very good. Yeah, like, we need to get rid of all this stuff that's, like, in between the fences. Like, that's, like, a big problem. Because we need free mobility in all these spots. Is there not a gate here? Do I want a gate over here? Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's add a gate. Why not? This is also why I have two layers of fences, is so when I inevitably miss stuff, like, things turn out okay. Okay, bills. Let's make any stone block. Do forever. And... We'll set the radius inside of our base, of course. Okay, that should be sufficient. Okay. So far, so good. So we'll get started with some slate walls right away. You know, I think I'll just wall this area off. Yeah, we'll just do that. Yeah, okay, let's get that going. So we've got structure, wall, slate. It's been like two days and I feel like I've forgotten everything. Let's do one, two, let's do that. And we're going to need to get an embrasure in here, too. Let's 
try that again. That. And let's get an embrasure in here too. And we'll get a slate door as well. Okay, very good. And then just keep tooling away. We'll get those walls up as soon as we can. Let's get our hunting fixed here real quick. Okay, so who's going to hunt? Because I've only got four dogs. So, let's have... Oh, we have puppies now, but that doesn't count. So, Sikos, Stumpy, Vicky, Sikos, Stumpy, who can't, obviously, Vicky. Let's turn this off, everyone else. And Priest? Priest would be good. Yes, and Priest. And these don't need to be a two for anyone except for Priest. Or don't need to be one, I mean. Okay, so... There's going to be a lot of possible delicious animals once we can get some walls up. And I have a fence segment over here, right? Yep. Two colonicidally, I know. We're working on it. Aren't you guys all set to, like, craft on four? You should be. Well, maybe not all of you, but many of you should be. You guys go right ahead. All right. Some delicious agave, but we're not going to eat that quite yet. Just need some bricks. Hurry up, guys. They don't like being in a barracks, but it's okay. Disturbed sleep. Needs master. Human leather pants. Tons of joy. Comfortable. I tell ya. Life is good on the rim, even when you accidentally end up in another place on the rim that you didn't really want to be. But here you are, so might as well make the best of it, right? Exactly. Well, we just need a whole bunch of stuff. Cross, can I have you... Yeah, I'm going to have you prioritize this so you don't walk away and do something else. Although, actually, it's the middle of the night, so... Oh, no, you're awake. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and let's start getting some walls up. You may be thinking, Deco, surely you're going to plan this out a little better this time. Well, don't come as surely, and I'm not, because... I don't know. I'm bad at things like that. So, okay, so let's get some doors in here. I don't know. There's a door, and... I don't know. Whatever. We'll hollow this out and make it a little nicer. And we'll have this be our kitchen initially. Again, once we've got everything up and running. Okay. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and let's get a steel auto door up right here. Do we have any nearby steel that we can work on until the zombies come? Is there a nearby steel vein? There's this. That's alright. Yeah. Uh, nothing else super close. Alright. Well, not to waste our steel, but let's go ahead and let's get some fences set up. Because, seriously, this is just impossible without fences everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright. And we'll put a gate here. And then once that's up, then I will go ahead and start flagging some mining. And I have to set, basically, everybody on aggressive... Because otherwise, it's a catastrophe. Um, we've got a little bit of power, so let's go ahead and let's just run some over from the ship right now. Gosh, it's annoying having everything in the wrong place. Okay, that's good. And this should all be roofed in. More or less like so. Okay. There's our auditor, so let's go ahead and let's build... Let's set up our stockpile area. Um, yeah, food can just be... Food can just be in here. This will be fine. Yeah. Okay. So you need to be... Animal corpses. That are not... Oh, actually, all animal corpses are fine. As well as human-like corpses. And foods. Right? Yes. Furred. Sounds good. Let's get some temperature control going on in here. We are out of steel. But that's okay. We won't be for long. Because I'm going to mine this that I forgot to mine. So, get going, guys. Wouldn't that be annoying if I had to jump right to drills? That would be extremely annoying. I really do not have any veins of steel around here, do I? I guess there's one here. I don't know how deep that goes. Oh, and there's one down here. Okay, that's where we're looking. 
Seacoast is wandering around in a daze. Now that could be a problem. That could be a real problem in Zombieland. Let's set everyone, by the way, to be aggressive. Except for Stumpy, obviously, who will run away. And we may just have to, like, babysit him. Because the zombies are going to show up, like, momentarily. Roof collapse? What? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Okay, keep mining, guys. Crap, and Sikos is in a really bad spot, too. An exotic goods trader. Well, I can't buy anything yet, so... Boy, actually, though, I don't want to miss an exotic goods trader. Hold on here. Miscellaneous. Let's just get a trade beacon set up down here. Maybe we'll have a chance to get that built. In a mill source. Yeah, I know. Why is there a power? Did I just not run power down far enough? No, I did. Is this just out of power? Um, I guess I don't know. Well, we'll build some power production right now anyway. I just need to get some steel up and running. Crap, this is going to be a problem with Seacoast. Wish I could, like, beat him up or something and bring him inside. Crap. Okay, let's get some power set up. Some regular power. Um, let's pop a turbine out here, because everyone loves turbines. There we go. And then we'll just kind of go from there. I'll get a battery in here, too. Here. Battery. I'm going to have to have come, someone come babysit him. Like, literally, I'm going to have to recruit a couple people and just have them, like, stand over him. Ah. Need defenses? Yeah, I know. What else we need is Seiko's not be wandering around like an idiot. Crap. Why does this still say no power? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's set this to freezing. Oh, alright. Well, that's the end of that. That was quick. Well, let's go ahead and let's just deconstruct this fast. I'd hope that would be a little bigger. A visitor? That's not going to go well for them. Okay, let's continue our fence over here since we've got some time to do fences. Security, fences, fences, chain link fence. Let's fence this area in and then we'll be able to move through it with relative ease. I'm going to let them do it outside before I put a gate in. Yep, and it's dark out. Okay, well... Crap. Um, I'm gonna have to bring like three people over to this. And even that may not be enough. He is standing right next to the zone wall. Alright. No, wait. Stay right next to each other. Alright, away we go. So the way the zombies are implemented is actually pretty neat. So in order to keep performance low, they're actually not like selectable objects. So they're pretty neat. So actually it has very little effect on performance. Okay, that was one of the um, suicide bomber ones. They blink and beep and then explode if they get too close. The zombies are not particularly difficult to kill if you stay on top of it. The problem is, is they build up places and then they are a lot more difficult to deal with. So. And let's say that one of your idiot colonists has a mental break and is wandering next to the zone wall. That's a real problem. Okay, must have gotten that one. Thought you'd changed your mind and you are going to shoot him. And by shoot him, I mean Seacoast. Okay, there's a... Yep, so far so good. You guys are doing good. Headshot, that uh, refunds our action. Yeah, see, we're already getting some groups down here. And Cross is shooting at him, but he's already, like, damaging these fences. So Cross, I actually wish you kind of weren't. Why don't you just go inside? But this is basically the only way to keep tabs of things. Like, keep things under control. Why don't... Here, dude. Go somewhere else. And don't go outside, by the way. Oh yeah, let's restrict everyone to what's currently called home. And let's clear home just a little bit. I don't want anyone going outside at night. Okay, this will keep people inside. And I'll reset that in the morning so they can get some things... Um, repaired. See him shooting the things. That's fine. Just stay focused. Okay, Seacos is back. Alright, jeez. Well, that was a pain. 
Okay. Everyone in the base for right now. Thank you. Good job, guys. You're good friends. I like they have this table, but they've decided not to use it. Let's... Should we make another table, or should we move it? Let's move it. We'll have this be like our dining area inside. So we've still got a bunch of slate. So let's keep making slate walls. We can make this... Oh, I don't know. Like this? Possibly? Put another auto door in? Yeah, let's do that. Mental break, fire starting spree. That should be okay. We've got a bunch of people restricted around here. Right, guys? Okay. And so our buddy out here is now getting killed by a zombie. Let's go rescue them. You know why? Because I'm a friendly guy. Nice job, Freckles. No dogs! Okay, I forgot about the animals. Right. Let's fix the animals. You guys can just stay in the home zone. Yep, starting to, uh, starting to build up down here, as you can see. I think we're going to bring some people down and kind of clear this area out a little. Having everyone on aggressive does mean that they should keep things reasonably clear in the area. Okay, everyone that's up, and everyone that's not up, come on over here. Let's get this area cleared out a little so we can get it built up. So you guys come on over here. They make good zombie sounds too, by the way. This is a well done mod. Like I said, my troubles were sort of unrelated to it. Okay, so let's unrestrict and let's get these fences built. And they don't really leave corpses either in order to keep like performance at a reasonable level. So if they're not in a big swarm, people should be able to deal with them more or less individually. As long as we're careful. Okay, another exotic good ship. Okay, and let's get a gate put in down here. Space already occupied. Let's deconstruct it, and then we'll make another gate. Okay, very good. No, don't roof these areas in. It is annoying that it designates all this stuff as roofing. And I wish it wouldn't do that. Okay. Chain link gate. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's get some mining going then. Oh yeah, trader. Who's tooling around? Seacoast, come talk to the trader. Okay, let's get rid of those puppies, because honestly, like, we don't have time for this. Okay, do we have anything we want to buy? Just hoping for some more insanity lances. Oh, just hoping for some more insanity lances, so I didn't bring a lot of silver. Oh, actually, our silver is not even within our trade area, so we need to fix that. In fact, let's remove raw materials from in here. Yeah, let's do that. No, we'll call him back. Okay, good. Information. Yes, I know. You guys moved the silver out yet? No, but you're doing it. Mad animal. Yeah, somehow I'm not worried about a mad animal in this particular context. Of all the dangerous things that could show up, a mad animal is really nowhere near my list of concerns. I mean, we're still going to take care of it. I'm just not all that terribly worried about it. Actually, it looks like everyone's inside the fences at the moment anyway. Where is it? Mad, mad, mad. No, you're not mad. Here you are. Oh, you're down here fighting a zombie. Well... Best of luck to you, because you will lose, eventually, and then the zombies will eat you, because of course they will. Hey, Seacoast is sleeping. I guess I don't need to wake him up. Here, Freckles, you're on your way back. Why don't you come call these traitors? Let's get that insanity lance. You can never have too many insanity lances, that's what I always say. Yes, insanity lance. And we don't have anything to sell to you. We actually should probably get going on some art, so we've got something to sell. Yeah, let's do that. So the things that can be in here, I'd rather have these at a priority. I want weapons in here. Um, not apparel. Not foods. Not rotten. And not corpses. But I prefer everything else to be, well, preferred. Okay? So we're going to start some hunting up, I think, in the morning. We've still got some Twinkies, but... The record will show that you can never have too many Twinkies. By the way, speaking of Twinkies, so 
Since Hostess went through their fake bankruptcy a while back, their foods are really not very good. But our store had the individually packaged ones, the ones are actually labeled for retail sale, like super cheap one day, and they are totally different. Like the Twinkies and the cupcakes are like they used to be. They have like thick frosting and they're creamy and delicious. It's great. So if you have the opportunity, I highly recommend getting the ones that are individually packaged. No, I don't know where you'd get them. But should you have the opportunity, they are way tastier. Yeah, let's set this up as being home zone all the way through the fencing area. Um, just so the fences get repaired. As I switch gears suddenly from fence from uh, hostess to zombie. Okay, here you guys shooting away, trying to keep things cleared out a little. So maybe with a bunch of guys that already have weapons, maybe it won't be quite so necessary to keep these capped low. And you do get these events too where like tremendous numbers of zombies show up. Maybe I should just put a turret down here. That's actually not a bad idea. Maybe I'll do that. Well, we'll see. we got bigger problems at the moment. Yeah, and these fortifications are going to require just constant upkeep. But even once I build walls, I want fences on the outside. Okay, so, in here. Um, you know, let's move this table in here. This can be our dining room. I did buy a bunch- I did bring a bunch of our art already. So we do have the ability to make the place look nice. We'll put some floors in too. Actually, then they don't have a place to hang out. No, that's okay. The whole point of bringing this stuff was to give us kind of a jump start. You would not believe how much materials this ship took. It was impressive. Like, very impressive. I ended up doing a whole bunch of cheats because I didn't want to wait like a thousand years for it. Okay, there's that. And what do we have for flooring? Let's use marble. Marble's a nice flooring, isn't it? Yes, it is. Actually, you know what? Here. I want all the floors in here to be the same. There. Marble tile. Very good. Okay, so we'll get that going. Yeah, the repairing is just going to go forever. It's just going to be ridiculous. Okay. So let's get some more of this stuff hauled out of the way. Haul things, yep. And haul things, yep. And let's throw up some solar panels. Oh, I canceled moving this in there, didn't I? Ah, okay, let's do it again. I know this is absolutely gripping video. This may be the single most exciting thing you watch today. Maybe the single most exciting thing that I do for the rest of the day. So, that's kind of depressing. Okay, furniture. Everything is moved out of the way with these fences! Er, okay. Okay, and let's get another lamp in here. And let's go ahead and let's get our production stuff set up. So, we need a butchering bench. A butchering bench. A butchering table is more what I mean. Can I make that out of steel? I can, which sounds more hygienic anyway, doesn't it? And then let's go ahead and let's build an electric stove in here too. Very good. And then we're gonna go start hunting. Extreme break risk, why? I suppose with all that disturbed sleep, yeah, we should probably start building up like some actual indoors areas. Um, I suppose I'll just expand this way. Let's get some more power up too while we're at it. Power goes here. So if the zombies bite you, your guys can get infected. And that's pretty annoying. The default is kind of like if they get infected, they just like become zombies and it sucks. I have things turned so that you can actually cure them. Because otherwise I think that's not lame necessarily, but not ideal. Okay, let's kill all of these. Oh, come get that gazelle too. That's fine. So we'll get that in here. Okay, so we want a butcher. Let's see here. Butcher creature. 
do forever. Anything that is an animal corpse that is not. Wait, we don't have a chance to say not husk or not uh, pets. Well, whatever. And all human likes. And do it forever. And let's set the ingredient radius to something sane, like this. Okay, and we're going to make kibble, which currently we can't, because it just occurred to me that I need to get some stuff growing. Okay, we've got some nice rich soil here, right? Isn't that what this is? Yes, very good. So, this can be a hay grass growing area. And we'll make this kind of big to start out with. Forgot about that. Remember Hay House? He was our buddy. Okay, let's see how hunting interacts with zombies. I hope that they prioritize zombies. Okay, it looks like they are. So that's good. Okay, so this might be alright. Yeah, looking good so far. Oh, they can actually make kibble. That is kind of funny. Okay. Kibble. This is oddly annoying, having to set all this stuff up again after doing it, like, forever. Okay. And let's get the dog zone set up. <sighs> Animal normal. You guys know the drill. Zone, expand area, animal normal, not inside here. You're good dogs, but you're not that good at dogs. Back to the manage zone, invert, and everyone goes to animal normal. Perfect. Okay, good, so you guys love kibble. Psychic drone, not ideal, but okay. Do we have any, like, fruits or anything around that we can take and turn into delicious, delicious kibble? I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Well, we needed some human meat. But that may take a while. So until then, we'll do what we can. Mental break, berserk, really? All right. No, 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 no. Let's just go beat her up because... Otherwise, she's going to do something annoying. And or we are going to accidentally murder her. Because they are all set to, like, aggressive. Your gunfire. It's just incredibly worrying to me. I know I don't need to beat them up, but, like, in this case, I do. It's just, it's important. Come on, guys. Thank you. All right. Okay, so far so good. Colonocene's treatment, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we can turn some of these back on. What was that explosion? Oh, there must have been a zombie exploding. Low food, yes I know. It's gonna be okay though. Maybe. I'm kinda worried about the dogs, actually. Is there anything around here that we can harvest? Let's just kinda blindly drag harvest. Oh, there's some stuff up here. Yeah, that'd be good. I just want to make sure that it gets immediately turned into kibble, you know? Hunter Rex, last turn tripping, yup, yup. Go get your gun when you can stand up again. Merlin, can you come tend to these people, please? Thank you. I know you don't like being in a barracks, but we'll take care of that soon, too. Oh, I just looked at the time. Okay, so, well, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here, so... Yeah, when we come back, we'll continue to deal with zombies, and we'll see how long we feel like putting up with this place. But, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.